Princess Diana and Prince Charles expose the woeful mismanagement of the royal family by the Queen as well as by Charles' senior advisers when their marriage broke down with the eyes of the world watching, a biographer claims. Prince Charles and Princess Diana both give tell-all interviews to discuss intimate details of their private lives after their separation in 1992. However, the Prince of Wales was not prepared for the far-reaching repercussions of Jonathan Dimbleby's television interview on Charles in 1994, according to a biographer. Tom Bauer claims in his 2018 book, Rebel Prince, The Power, Passion and Defiance of Prince Charles how TV producers wanted to raise the Camilla question as, at the time, the relationship had never been officially confirmed. The book reveals that Charles believed a confession would clear the decks. In the interview, Mr. Dimbleby asked, You were, because of your relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles, from the beginning persistently unfaithful to your wife and this caused a breakdown? Charles responded, I was faithful until it was clear to me that my marriage had irretrievably broken down. Mr. Bauer writes, He, Charles, then admitted his adultery, denied that he was considering divorce, and insisted he would be king. According to the biography, the public was aghast after the documentary was broadcast. Mr. Bauer claims, in hindsight, Dimbleby's highlighting the facts about Charles' marriage had in one way been a blessing, forcing the pace for his divorce. The 2018 biography suggests that, while the Prince of Wales may have settled the score, he had prepared the way for far-reaching repercussions that he could never have anticipated. The film in which Mr. Dimbleby was given unparalleled access to the future sovereign, was to mark the 25th anniversary of his investiture as Prince of Wales. Many of the details of the deteriorating marriage of the Prince and Princess of Wales have long since been in the public domain, especially since June 1992 when Andrew Morton's book Diana, Her True Story hit the shelves. At one point in the film, the Prince said that he was not considering a divorce from the Princess but, he added, he did not view divorce as a barrier to becoming king. He insisted there was no truth in much of the speculation about his private life and referred to Camilla Parker Bowles as a great friend whose support he valued. One year later, Princess Diana said in a compelling 1995 BBC Panorama interview, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. Patrick Jeffson served as Diana's chief of staff and private secretary from 1988 until 1996 and, in 2000, he published a memoir titled Shadows of a Princess, where he detailed what it was really like working with Diana. Mr. Jeffson believed the interview was a huge mistake, and claimed it was a tell-all that Diana regretted doing. He said, she portrayed herself as a victim. In reality, she was a much stronger person. She was in a position to be a healer, rather than a victim. She could have appeared from a position of strength. I found it frustrating professionally and I think she regretted it as well, portraying herself as a victim, asking for sympathy. She missed an enormous opportunity to cement her position. However, Mr. Bauer writes in Charles' biography how the battle with Diana had revealed the woeful mismanagement of the royal family by the Queen as well as by Charles' senior advisers. 